Good morning. It is my birthday weekend. Oh! Today I'm just going to be having a little day for myself. I've been to boot camp this morning. That was really good. A very good atmosphere. It always is on a Friday because everyone's happy because it's the weekend. And I've just been on the phone to my boyfriend trying to organise when we're going to go to the cinema to see poor things. I was going to go today actually on my own and have a little solo, solo cinema trip to go see it because I really didn't think that he would be interested in it because it's quite an art house film. So much that I have to go to, it's only playing at Cinema City which is an art house, well it's a cinema in Norwich but they play like art house films. But he watched the trailer and was like, no, I it looks really cool actually. I looked into it. I looked into the meaning of the movie and he started <laughs> spiraling into the research that he'd done in such a minimal time. So I'm not going to the cinema today. What I am gonna do though, is I'm just putting a little bit of face on so I don't have to do it later. And I'm gonna go walk the dogs over at the park with my best friend. She moved to the area like last year. And it's really cool because she lived like 25 minutes away from me in the car um, before. And she's moved around the corner. We live an eight minute walk from each other. And obviously this, the, the park that we go to to walk our dogs is the same. And we're gonna go there and walk the dog. She's gonna bring her baby and we're gonna grab a little coffee. So that's gonna be really pleasant. Oh yeah, I'm just, this is so unnecessary for a dog walk, but it's just so it's on for the day. Probably do a bit of housework. Do you know what? Because I actually, I love, I love doing housework. I never thought that doing housework would be something that I do for enjoyment, but I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. Change the bed sheets, put some laundry away. I also wanted to get my car valet. This is it. Come to realise that I, I write such long wish lists or to-do lists in my day that I probably should calm down a bit. So I was just, no, it's a no pressure day essentially. This is just a what does Helen want in the moment kind of day. That's the energy that I'm carrying today is live in the moment and don't put pressure on yourself. We're going to London this weekend to obviously to celebrate my birthday. So I was like, right, let's have a day at home, chilling, no stressing. And then you can go London and be active and on your feet for two days straight. Do I put eyeliner on right now? No, I'll save that for later. We're just doing a quick jobby here. When I'm in a super good mood, I feel like I want to just do everything. And one thing that I've learned is it's very easy to, when I get excited and really enthusiastic about loads of stuff, I want to do everything. I have to calm down. I have to go, right, okay, now we're excited. I know we want to get everything done. I mean, now you just like want to slay the day. Yeah, slay the day. Calm down because if you don't do all these things that you've got in your brain, you're going to feel disheartened and shit. So let's make this reasonable and manageable. Let's manage our expectations here. It happens so often. I'm like, I'm going to do this and then this and then this and I'm going to conquer the world and it's going to be fantastic. And then by the end of the day, if I've done that, I'm like, oh, I'm a failure. Easy. It's just easy to do that. Last night I washed my hair and I put on a bleach London orange, <laughs> but I fucked my hair a bit because I didn't realise how quite vibrant it was going to stick to the top of my head and then not so much my hair extensions so there's quite a difference there but it's all right I, when I, once it's curled and i've styled it it will look a bit more it will little kind of blend better because i think curls are quite forgiving when it comes to hair color um so i just need to wash it a couple of times and it'll dull it down but because i had my hair lightened to achieve a brighter copper um obviously where it's been lightened is a little bit more porous and obviously lighter underneath so it's going to grab onto color like crazy like a thirsty biatch it is i'm just going to run the dyson through it really quickly because it's still a little bit damp even though i washed it last night my outfit today I'm gonna put a jumper on, but I'm just wearing leggings, socks, and a little vest top, and I'll put a jumper on, because chill vibes, and then I'm gonna get dressed properly later for my dinner, because I'm beating my, my girls, my friends, for some dinner. Bit better. I can, you can see the, the, oh no! Okay, after a couple of washes, it won't be so bad. 
It'll dull down a bit. I was just trying it out. I think the next time I want to boost the colour a bit, I'll probably get one of the Weller Perfecton rinses because they're not as pff, but they just add a bit of more pigment. But I'm just trying to figure out the best way to maintain the colour. Trial and error, the, trial and error baby. In my head it was going to work because I was putting it on my wet hair after I washed it and I was going to leave it on for less time. It's got face tracks just started. I'm over here, now I'm over here. Oh, Lonely, you're on my bed. That's so cheeky. No, your hoodie. I haven't worn a hoodie in a while. Fuck it. Comfy clothes. Yeah, this one from, my th from Free People. This was the most expensive hoodie I've ever bought in, in Florida. When I was... I'll tell you what, don't go shopping after you've had morning margaritas on holiday. Well, no, it was lunch, pretty much lunchtime. I had three cocktails in a short amount of time. Went into three people and I spent a good portion of my holiday money. And then when, by the time we got back and I'd, the little margarita buzz had worn off, I was like, what have I done? <laughs> so I, this is actually a really nice hoodie. I love the worn look. Oh shit, I need to go. I'll just ring down here real quick. Ladies, are you gonna come on a walk? D, 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 come on, you've got to come. Come on, come on. Hello, <laughs> good morning, Sylvie. And what a Look fabulous. <gasps> I love them. I know, and I genuinely, I'm so sad <laughs> that they're only in kids' sizes. And I even I looked all over the internet to be like, is there an adult version? Because I want them. <laughs> And then, um, but there isn't, is there? Just for you. Look at those beautiful I have to shrink, blues. Shrink myself down to fit into your clothes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's Diane. Can you say dog? <laughs> We've been bamboozled. Our plan hasn't gone to plan because the coffee van isn't there. Oh, wait. I have stuff at the Oh, no, that's just this weekend. Maybe it's only here on a weekend now. Yeah, it was Friday through to Sunday, wasn't it? Yeah. I or Thursday. I'm... come on a Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're only weekends now. So, Danny, would you like a hazelnut, caramel or vanilla syrup? Or none. I'll have a little drop of caramel, please. A little drop. It's sugar-free. That's okay. I'll just and all that love. Okay. I'm making coffee, Sylvie. I'm making coffee. Do you want one? An espresso double shot? That'll send you to the moon and back. Yeah. Rush. Rush. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I feel like the sound of the milk frother sounds like the Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. There's your, there's your Helen special Thank brew. You. Helen's special brew. <laughs> Nothing special about it. <laughs> Apart from I made it. Next up on the day's agenda is I'm going to get my car valeted. Because I love getting my car valeted. It feels like a real treat. It's like getting a pamper, but for your... I did it for myself for my last, year, for my last year's birthday, got a valet. I'm going to do it again for this year. I'm very busy today. Just plonk it right in the middle of the, the courtyard. He was like, just put it there. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I said half an hour, 45 minutes, so... I'll take 45 minutes just in case. Right. What should I do? I just bought a hat. This is my little lunch thing that I got. It's a goat's cheese chili nuts on Danish. Look at that, it's delicious. I need to go back to my car, but I'm gonna eat it before I get in the car because know me, I'll get crummies everywhere. This is delicious. 
a slightly sweet pastry with savoury stuff. So good. Oh my God. There is something just so bloody satisfying about a clean car. There are no crummies or stones or bits of shit just from the dogs in here and it smells amazing. Another year, another hat. So last birthday, last year, I bought myself my a black Garni beanie. And then this year I bought myself a cream Garni uh, beret, which I haven't quite figured out. I had it on earlier, I'm fine. Now I look stupid. I had it on, oh, whatever. Come on, I look like a fucking chef. Okay. <laughs> How do I do it? In this gorgeous biscuity kind of colour. That's from a shop called Catfish, which is a, like an independent brandy shop. They sell like Carhartt, Vivian Westwood, Garni, North Face, outdoorsy stuff, but you know, cool outdoorsy stuff. And then I was in Space NK and I got myself a... <laughs> Ultra, Akeel's Ultra Facial Cream with built-in SPF. I wanted a, a nice moisturiser with built-in SPF to put on before the gym, um, on before dog walks, because currently I get up and I just put deodorant on and make a coffee and go. And I just, obviously it's gonna get lighter in the mornings and stuff and I walk the dogs without SPF on. I don't put my SPF on until I do my makeup, which is silly because I'm, I've been out of the house and I've been in the sunshine walking the dogs and stuff. So um, I got a Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I just wanted to get a face mask to put on every now and then for a little bit of pamper time. And they're fun to do a face mask, isn't it? And you feel like just to put on when you're in the bath or something whilst you're bathing and sitting there or just to do on an evening when you want to spend a little bit more time on yourself. And then lastly, I got another K18. My hair was lightened to as I've already said today, to make it more copper. And whenever bleach has touched my hair, I'm like, right, get the Olaplex out, get the K18 out, because I'm just, I've just got this, I'm just terrified of my hair falling out. Oh, and then I also got another big bag of coffee. Uh, my boyfriend's parents, he, when he arrived, he went, I've got to give you this now. And I was like, oh my God, really? They got me, I'm not allowed to touch it, touch it. But I'll pick it up and show you. I'm scared of it, but I'm fast. It's amazing. A cactus. I'm going to call him Clyde. Hello, I'm waving at you. My name is Clyde. Very nice cactus. Look at all the little flubbly, little fluffy bits on him. Apparently, he's, he's very irritant if you touch him because of the tiny, tiny, tiny hairs on it. If you get on your skin, it's not nice. And this lovely pot to put him in. She also put in some gloves for if I do need to touch him. So he's going to live on my windowsill in the corner because he likes to have a lot of sun. Um, however, the vase that was in the corner, which I got for Christmas, needs a new home. So I need to find it out. When the living room is done, which is going to happen this year, it's going to be fine. There's going to be loads of space for all this lovely stuff. But this doesn't fit in. The light. I don't, I hate my living room. But I've got big plans for it. Now, I'm gonna go and change my bed sheet and put a bag together for tomorrow. There we go. Can I just... Two minutes what? early, mate. Oh my God. Should... When have we ever done that? Ever. I, I don't know. It's definitely the taxi's fault. <laughs> yeah, but we were making margaritas in my kitchen. We didn't even finish making one. Can you imagine? Like, if we were responsible, if we were responsible for our own travel, we would have been so late. You would have been drunk and late. It's my birthday. Day. We're at Sue's. Happy birthday! Thank you, ma'am. We're just having breakfast at Mum's and I picked up some lovely bits we have got here. Oh, Mum's put fruit out. Oh, Mum! Pistachio and raspberry. Ooh. Apple crumble croissant. Ooh. And then a cinnamon. Apparently that is next level, just because it's just a limited edition one, that one. Ooh. They didn't have my favourite, which is the chocolate almond one. Ooh, yum. 
So I got that because Danny really recommended that one. Ooh, yummy. Ooh, some chocolate. Ooh, yay! Oliver Bonas. I love Oliver Bonas. I'll take that with me today. Thanks, man. Oh! oh. <laughs> Haley got me one too! Okay. Happy birthday, you bloody bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing daughter. Thanks. God, that's a good knife, Mum. Yeah, I don't know how to much to cut. Oh my god. Thank you, sir. Ooh, yee! Sir. Ah! Thank you, sir. Whoa, now I'm the basic bitch of my Stanley Cup. Oh, no, I love it. Thank you. Oh, Daya. <gasps> oh my god, she just pooed on the floor. Oh, Mum, I'm sorry. No, don't worry. It's always glamorous. Oh my god. This is old school. This is going to take me back in time to 2014. This is a Helen Anderson staple perfume. What's this? Ah, the bag! Oh my god, yeah! Yes, yeah, sick! Oh, I love the colours of it! Now this. So I'm opening my presents whilst Mum clears up my dog's poo. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is a Cavu bag. And I love the brand, but is it go over your, is it go around your waist? Do you wear it around your waist or do you wear, I guess you can wear it any way you want, really. It's got loads of pockets, a little cup holder. Mum, look at this bag. Oh, that's nice. It's practical, it's practical. Oh my God, you've really, um. He's spoiling you. You have. <laughs> oh, I like two of them, he bought me both of them. You naughty oh, boy. <laughs> I like that one too. Thank you. Right. No, you like, don't look like that. You can't help it if you've got a funny belly. Thank you, babe. Whoa! Oh my God. Oh my God. How did you know about this? I've wanted one of these rings for so long. It's like teeth. Oh, I can see that. Oh, yeah. Yes, it does. That's fit. That's gorgeous. Babe. Babe. Hello. 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 I want to sing opera. Opera? Can you do it? I reckon I can easily, yeah. I find that easier than doing anything else. Really? Yeah. I don't know the words to this song. I can do it. some time to kill before we go for lunch. They let us check in early, so we've just been chilling. Got the, our bags out, bag out, ready. I love this hotel, because it's right in Shoreditch. It's got a cool vibe, and I love the bathroom. That's a steam shower, a lovely big steam shower. And I love how it's been decorated, well, all these tiles. We've come for lunch at Gloria in Shoreditch. Looks like this. Lights, so romantic. We are sharing a truffle pasta. This came out of a wheel of cheese. And we have a little pizza, 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 pizza. It smells incredible. How does that taste? Good. Is it good? It, it tastes like a pasta with chocolate. You know what I mean? No. It's so rich, but it's really beige at the same time. <laughs> this is... The lemon meringue pie that we've got, there was a candle in it. Taking it out. Ready? Oh my god. I need a knife. Ooh. Wow. 
<sighs> Thank you, darling. We're going to go to Junkyard Golf to play mini golf. Electric ballroom, there must be a gig on. We love a bit of mini golf, and I've done the Junkyard in Shoreditch, not done the Camden one before. After having a little look around the shops in Shoreditch, we just popped back to the hotel to drop a bag off, a shopping bag off. And, oh, this is all new, and uh, sat down for five minutes, and we're back on the road again. This is nice. Oh, look at all these. <laughs> yeah, so we got a fun. I've been to Camden in bloody ages. Ages, ages, ages. Oh, I should do that punch bag thing because I'm hard now. I punch things. Very busy, very busy indeed. But it's only it's not far from um, the tube station, so it should be okay. We've made it to Junkyard Golf. <laughs> and I got a visor. We're doing the Gary course, which is the car themed one, and I chose this one because there's a slide. Oh my god. Here we go. I'm scared. Oh, oh, that's gone all the way over there. Why does this happen to me? the beginning again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Aha. Oh. How many is that? Three? Three. Four! Now this one, this is the, I mean, I, I chose this course because of this slide. Three. Well, it seems like it, doesn't it? We are in Highgate in London, North London, in the Duke, Dukes of Highgate, Duke's Head. And it's all cowboy country theme. We've got Dolly Parton on the wall. We've got some amazing neon lights. Is that what they're called? Neon lights? Help me out with it. Yes. Guitars, great drinks, a great company. And I used to live here just two doors down. This is a memory lane where I sunk a lot of boys when I was 21. <laughs> right in that corner. Or can we do like Jenga? I get a... <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. And then the chin. There's a snake on my nose. <laughs> Oh, that is so good. That was awesome. Birthday girl with a birthday hat. <laughs> wow! With our marks. Yeah! Cheers, cheers. <laughs> good morning. Slept like a princess. I did wake up really early. Because I do anyway now. Why does my hand look weird? Is it because I'm moving it weird? I don't know. I got this out of the fridge. Cucumber premium soda. It's very refreshing. And then I made a coffee with a, from the coffee machine. And it absolutely rumbled the whole hotel when it was being... It was one of them espresso machines and it was just like... But it like rattled the tray that it was set on. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I get a noise complaint. We're wearing matching pyjamas. Well, I'm wearing the whole set. He's just wearing his leg. Well, today's plan is to find breakfast of sorts. And I'm going to actually buy some things today. 
I wasn't vibing yesterday. Brick Lane, it wasn't that great. Just don't think I'm into vintagey things. Well, not from Brick Lane anyway, because it was really fucking expensive. And I just wasn't, everything just felt a bit, I just didn't, I didn't like it. It's all kind of a bit shit. What time are we getting kicked out of here? It'll be like midday, most likely. But I'm getting hungry, so. Just idiot checking before we leave. Have you got everything? yard shopping. I have went to a place called the Earl of East. I came here before with my friend Kat and uh, I looked around the Earl of East and I wanted everything in it. So today I, I bought myself some nice things from there. So I really want a utility jacket and I've been going to some like outdoorsy clothes, Carhartt, all that, to find one. But I found this, so I'm going to get it. It's my, um, I've got things to do slash walking dog attire. So I've got a pocket for all of all of the things that I need. Keys, ball, phone. I think them pockets are bigger. Yeah, that, 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 that suffice. We're both really bad when we come shopping because we totally enable each other. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh yeah, you look good because we both love clothes. I actually have never met anybody that has um, equally as larger wardrobe, larger wardrobe. Kingly Court in Carnaby and we're at a place called Dirty Bones. I've been here quite a few times before. We looked at the menu and um, he was like, that looks banging. I was like, it is good food to be fair. So we've come in here. And we wanted a salad, but we wanted a Caesar salad. And then it's a bunch of small plates. A bit later, a bit of a later lunch. Hello. Oh, thank you very much. Fab. Oh my God. Well, this is uh, this is what we've ordered. Uh, quite a lot. It's <laughs> okay. Oh, I love a Caesar. Fried pickles, mac and cheese balls, chippies. As so we were just leaving Carnaby, I went into Nobody's Child and made like the easiest, quickest purchase ever. Green, wide leg, animal, splodgy trousers which feels so comfortable. And uh, I think I decided I need those. But we, we are, um, yeah, we're gonna walk back to Tottenham Court Road, getting on the Elizabeth line back to Liverpool Street. Obviously went to Crosstown Donuts. I'm doing all the things that I just like to do. Wasn't in an exploration, try new things kind of mood this weekend. Just like, you know what, I just wanna do things that I like. <laughs> Next time I do a weekend in London, we'll try new things. Oh. Oh, this goes to Stratford. If only we had our bloody suitcases. <laughs> we gotta go get our suitcase from the hotel. And the Elizabeth line is so futuristic, isn't it? It's brand new, isn't it? It's lovely. It's brand brand so new. handy if you want to go to Heathrow though and get in the train to the get into getting the train. Just literally get off at Liverpool Street and then um Can I do you mind if I sit down? Glenn, did you miss us? Yeah, sitting there all on your own, guard in the car. No one would have touched it because you were on the dashboard, looking all big and scary and brave. Bye bye, London. We're going home. We're going home. We got home okay. I wanted to show you what I bought in London. I really wanted a utility jacket for practical uses, and they're ugly, and I love that. So in <laughs> Beyond Retro, I found this. It's a fisherman jacket, but it's perfect, 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 perfect. It's got, a, it's got a big pocket on the back. It's got two big pockets here, then loads of little pockets for bait. I have no bait, but I could put in there Werther's Original in each pocket. And there are some other reasonable size pockets as well. Dog treats can go in there, you know. Purse, or like, Cards, ID maybe, 
I actually was like, you know what, I'm going to wear this like when I'm for gym and for walking the dog, but I think actually, I really like how I've styled it today. And then the other thing I bought from Nobody's Child, which I did briefly mention, are these trousers. These are so nice and so comfortable. I do need them taking up ever so slightly, so. But oh, they do them in a denim as well, which is very tempting. But this is, these are just like perfect kickabout trousers. That also look cool. So in the Earl of East, which is a really cool little independent shop in Coldrops Yard. First of all, I have some incense cones. Oh God, they smell so good. Jardin de la Lune. And a candle, which is Shinrin Yoku, which is inspired by Japanese wilderness. As I walked into the shop, I was like, what is this smell? And he said, it's this combination. So I was like, well, and then there's lots of independent brands. I got a perfume from a brand called 1969 and the scent is Casbah, Casbah, which is, I love my perfumes. Fragrance notes are sweet orange, ripe lime, white honey, geranium, amber patchouli, vanilla, tonka beans, gyoraki wood, leather accord and sandalwood. Um, very strong smell. These are made in um, a Sweden. It comes in a very lovely bottle, like that. You know what it, look, it smells like? Very similar to... <coughs> very strong. Only one spray. Only one spray. Only one spray. <coughs> oh, that really went out my nose. It's very similar to the scent Karma from Lush, if you're familiar. Oh, this bag from the same shop by Bagu. I just saw it and was like, oh my God, that looks so practical. Practical. I know I've got two little crossbodies, a utility jacket, but I, I, I wanted to get a new gym bag or like a, a bag that I could keep in the car for my gym stuff. Uh, it's just this nylon bag. It's got two big pockets in the front, which I'm going to put my boxing gloves in. And then if I wanted to go travelling, or when I go travelling, it's hand luggage size. So this goes over the back, over the top of your handle on a carry-on suitcase. But it's really big and paddy. And yeah, it's got these pockets in the front for my punch gloves, my gloves, boxing gloves. Um, but it folds up and fits into this, which is really cool. I bought a pair of Ray-Bans, but these are so cool. The style name is Light Havana. And you know what's really funny is we were watching Daisy Jones and the Six last night when we got home. And Teddy, who is the music producer, had these exact same sunglasses. I went, oh my God, me and Teddy are matching. I, I rewatched it for the second time. I thought Jack would really enjoy it and he did. So I was, I was, I'll watch it again. I love that show. But yeah, me and Teddy, same glasses. Some earrings from Astrid and Mew. I don't know if I even pronounced that correctly. This large gold one to go in the conch. And then, because I've got random cartilage ones, I got this little double jobby. I don't know if you can just see, it's got two bits on there. And then I got this one, which is just, that's like, I think it's very hard to see. It's just like that. Look at these lovely little boxes. Swavy bits there. But they're all the little bits that I got in London, which is really cool. But I will say one thing. And this isn't it. This isn't a, you know, a reflection on my feelings towards the weekend because I had a lovely, lovely time. But I did say, um, I think that I definitely, I know because we did. I, I know that we did go and eat and at uh, nice places and you know did some shopping. And it was lovely. It was really was. But I think actually, my I think as I'm getting older, my interests are shifting a bit, and I would also quite happily been in a cottage in the middle of nowhere and gone on some walks, I had lunch in a pub. I was like, London's hard work and everything takes so long. 
it was very, very busy and bustly and kind of stressful and a bit overwhelming. Um, and I, you know, I do really enjoy going and I especially I used to do it quite a lot. But the less time I'm there, the less less I want to be there, if that makes any sense. I said, I'd like to be, maybe next time we'll do coast and a roast. I'm getting old! I've got a fucking fisherman's jacket! It's really nice, I've got some lovely cards. Look at Marika bought me. Marika bought me this cool print with a coffee machine on it. And um, um, this card, which is fab. It's got Glenn the crab on it. Because she's also got a Glenn now. From me and Glenn. Hee <laughs> hee. I did get this awesome card from Gloria when we went for pasta on... Bon complino. Dogs. I'm going to have to put all this stuff away. But thanks for watching. It's been a really nice time. I feel really spoiled and really lucky and full of happiness and love. Bye. <laughs>